Hello World Farm, this is Jade from Jade's Videos, and this is Nightmare House 2016 Haunt Build Day 12, I think. The lights aren't on in Scary Christmas or Carnivorous Garden, because I didn't do anything with those today. But, uh, not much was really done today. Uh, no walls or anything like that. It was mainly just uh, little props set here and there, bought stuff, and set out um, scene setters to dry, because these scene setters were sitting outside all year, I didn't even know this. Um, so they're really wet, and like, so they're sitting out here to dry, so hopefully they'll uh, be dry by tomorrow. So as you can see, we have the creepy carnival one. These are ruined, pretty much, so I have to get all new ones of those. There's door toppers there and all sorts of other stuff. There's the bloody chop shop walls, which is going to go in the laboratory. Here's the ones from Haunted Mansion. There's Dead End Cemetery ones there, even though it's not for Dead End Cemetery, it's for Hex Family Cemetery. Uh, there's more Haunted Mansion. Here's Dark Harvest Field of Screams. All the different uh, scene setters are laying out to dry. So that was actually kind of a big thing done, because it needs to be done anyways, so they can be used. Also, got out a few things of... Uh, walls, but these aren't really that big of a deal, because most of these, I thought they were full-out walls, but they're just doors, really. So we need to buy more tarp for walls, because we're pretty much, we only have, like, one little strand. Since the haunt was expanded so much last year, um, there's not very much left. Of course, this wall's still here. Of course. I don't know why it would have moved. But there's this last wall from... Well, this last uh, outside wall, well, there's another one that goes behind the Voodoo Swamp, but this is one of the last outside walls, the last uh, big one that stretches out from pole to pole, right here. So, I need to get some new ones, and that's probably going to happen tomorrow. So, there's going to be walls put up tomorrow. I know I said that there was going to be walls put up today, some more walls, but it didn't happen. So that'll be done tomorrow. Um, Carnivorous Garden is pretty much done. Unless there's a few more plants to add. There's just these trees for Scary Christmas. Probably gonna make them bloody or something. I don't know, my grandma brought them over. She brought over a lot of other things too, which I'll show you. Scary Christmas besides that is pretty much the same. Carnivorous Garden. There's one more extra plant like right there. Um... The rest of Carnivorous Garden is pretty much the same as before. Island of the Headhunters, I'll show you the progress in that in just a moment. First, I'm going to show you some supplies. Some new supplies. There's this thing. I was gonna. Th I was thinking about making a Chinese room. Um, I know that might sound kind of weird, but what I mean by that is like assassins and stuff. Like Chinese assassins, like Kung Fu. and I don't know if that's Chinese or Japanese. I don't know, don't, don't test my knowledge on this. But just like assassins like that. Uh, hopefully you know what I mean. I might not do that, but I was just thinking about it. I might. It could be a possibility. There's a few little things in here. There's something for the, uh, until death do us part. Pull just random stuff to help secure things. Those, uh, the bride and groom statue, which I'm gonna blow you up. There's some stuff here. Those are cords, extension cords and stuff. I got a lot of spray paint at Home Depot. I got some more neon ones for um, Island of the Headhunters. Because that place is going to be illuminated by black light. So I want some neon colors. And for and they're like, I got tribal colors and stuff for that. Also some whites uh, for snow and stuff and Scary Christmas. And to paint more writing on the walls and stuff like that. And black, of course. To paint... Uh, Anything that needs to be black. Of course, those walls are still there. I don't know if there's really any other stuff here. But I know there's a lot of other stuff. Uh, Island of the Headhunters had a lot of progress done today. And I'm very proud of that progress. That was done with it. I moved this tree. Uh, we moved this tree. That was... This was the big tree that was in um, the Voodoo Swamp last year. And I touched it earlier this year, and it fell because I touched it, because it's a dead tree. 
So now I'm just going to have it laying in the area that it was last year. So it's like the tree came up out of the ground and Jack's body is nowhere to be found on the tree. So something happened to Jack's body. But this is the tree that Jack was supposed to be hung from. So that kind of goes along with the lore. Jack's body is nowhere to be found on this tree. Okay, so that was a part of the Voodoo Swamp. This is Island of the Headhunters now. Um, quite a few things done. These uh, tropical looking plants. Some of these were put in. I think I already showed you that one. So uh, two plants there. There. Um, that one's there. There's some plants back there. This one's actually a real palm tree, which was on sale for like $11 at Home Depot. So I got that, which looks awesome since it's a real palm tree to put in this scene. It looks so cool. I know I live in Florida, so there's a lot of palm trees, but they're not going to be where you need them to be. So it's cool to have this here. I'm sorry I'm making another nighttime update. But... So this I didn't show you yesterday, but it's the Tiki God's throne. I made a Tiki God prop earlier this year. I just didn't show it, but this is his throne. I'm probably going to add a few more things to it, but there's some bamboo back there. And then these are like little uh, side things on his throne. So here we got a... a the, it's bamboo, and I spray painted it with the neon colors. Neon green to make it look tribal, and it can also glow in the black light. So I put those bamboo and spray painted them so they glow in the black light. And put those skulls on top and spray painted those. So his throne looks pretty cool, and the palm trees are like guarding it like uh, to shade him because he's supposed to be the tiki god so his throne looks pretty cool this um you guys might think kind of looks weird but my mom put together the temple itself i did i had no idea what i was going to do for this but i got a whole bunch of different bricks home depot today this big stepping stone a whole bunch of these other bricks this is the temple it's not as good as i wanted it to be but this is supposed to be the um, uh, the temple ruins. It's not that great, I know, and it's very small. But it's supposed to be like uh, only a teeny bit of the temple is left. And the rest is supposed to be buried in those bushes back there. So the rest of the temple is supposed to be buried all the way back to there. So only a little bit is supposed to be visible. That's actually a broken tombstone, but I think it looks really cool like that. It looks like the background for the temple. Now, when you're walking by, you can't really tell that it's um, too bad. It doesn't look too bad if you're walking by fast. It's just if you stand down and look at it. With the Buddha statues, you can definitely tell what it's supposed to be more. I bought these earlier this year. Uh, specifically for this scene, because I had this temple area planned. This is still an island of the headhunters, of course. But there's that big Buddha statue, and then there's the head, which is on top of the uh, rocks. So there's that. There's the jungle temple. It looks kind of weird, but like I said, the rest of it is supposed to be buried back into these bushes back here, so, if it looks kind of small, it's only supposed to be a teeny portion of the ruins, and the rest of it is supposed to be back here, like, with this short of notice making it, plus I didn't get enough bricks to make it really good, um, I think my mom still did a pretty good job, like, the only thing I really did with it was add the statues, she built the walls, because I was doing it, and like, I was trying to make it big, so I had it back there, and I, I was trying to make it, like, really big. I was, um, I was laying out a whole bunch of bricks, and I was making it wide, but then when I went to build it upwards, it, I didn't have enough. So I just told her, hey, you need to do this. I have no idea what to do. So she, I told her what I wanted, temple ruins, and I think she did pretty good. I changed a little bit. She had those blocks up there, but I think it looks better with it like that because it looks more like it's fallen over. Um, 
and having it back in this in this like viney planty area also makes it really cool because it makes it look more like ruins and that it's covered in vines so I don't really need to get any fake vines to cover this so I think it actually turned out okay it's not as good as I planned for it to be but it's actually a pretty big ruins it I know it's not tall but wide it's pretty big um, it doesn't look too great, but in the, um, haunt when people are walking by and there's just going to be a green fire and ice light on it, there's not really, it's not really going to be too big of a deal. I'll probably have an actor of a headhunter back behind it, too. Um, so they'll be more focused on him than that, but it's, I was planning on making it better, but it's... It's pretty good for what it is. I guess it's it's gonna have to do. Um, like I said, of course, it being so small, it's supposed to be because that is quite a lot of bushes and plants back there. The rest of it is supposed to be buried all the way back in there. So this is only supposed to be like a very small portion of it. But I think it's okay. Um, it turned out decent. I, I wanted it to be about this tall. I knew it wasn't going to be too tall because it's kind of hard to make full out uh, ruins a week before Halloween. But I wanted it to be like this tall, but the bricks are they're not that expensive, but if you want to get a whole bunch of them it would equal out to be pretty expensive. And I try to pick the bricks that look the most uh, destroyed and ruined because uh, that makes it better. But you know, it's, you never know, uh, there might be some changes to it here and there, maybe I'll get some more bricks and, like, expand it back into the plant to, to give more of the effect that it, it's engulfed in the plant, because, of course, there's nothing actually back there, but that's supposed to be the effect that you're given, that the big part of the temple is back there, like the, where the temple starts getting big, um, but it's okay, it turned out fine. Definitely not like I expected, but good. I'm rambling so much. But, there's one last thing I want to say. Last year, if you probably know this, just from looking at the area that it's in, but Island of the Headhunters, this is where Zombie Wasteland was. If you remember, Grave Grabber Corpse was right where that palm tree is. I had my dad as an actor right behind that post. There was, the zombies were on the other side of the fence, and people actually walked up to this fence, and the zombies were on the other side. Um... It's, uh, it was not that big. The door into Voodoo Swamp was right here. So, like, right after this tree, the Voodoo Swamp started right here. So, this area where the temple is was actually a part of the Voodoo Swamp. Wim Ripper was right where the temple is right now. So, I cut down the Voodoo Swamp a little short because I didn't really need this access area onto it. It's better to just have it, because this is a pretty big area for the Voodoo Swamp anyways. The area that it's in, right here. So I thought that it didn't really matter if I cut it down, because to make the temple good, oh well, it's not too great, but to make it decent, um, you need it more in like a secluded area like this. So I decided this would probably be the best area for the temple. So that's why it's over here. What I'm going to do with this space, I'm not sure. This, I'm actually kind of glad I have more space for this, though. Because this could be where I'll put the, um, the, uh, the, um, the guy frying over the fire that I made a few weeks ago. Because I made that for Island of the Headhunters. I could probably fit him in there. And that's this thing, which I showed you guys earlier. This thing right here, uh, my mama had this idea to put vines crawling up it and then put heads on the posts. So I'm kind of glad I have that extra area for Island of the Headhunters because it gives me more to more area to work with and put different stuff. So it's actually a pretty big scene because it expands all the way over to there. Quite a big space between this and the throne which I kind of like because this area over here 
It's supposed to be like where the tribal village is, this whole area. This is where the tribal village is, where they live. And then a little bit off, um, closer to the waters would be the the temple. So, like, I don't want the temple right next to the village, because why would they live right next to a temple that can fall on them at any moment? So I think it's better having it like that with the temple all the way over here, because my original plan was to put the temple, like, right across from the throne. I don't know if that would work. But after I get this back wall up for Island of the Headhunters, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that waterfall thing. Now for the waterfall, I highly doubt I'm going to have water flowing down it because the hose is going to be used for the mist maker in that scene uh, to make it misty like a actual tropical rainforest. So this, I'm probably going to spray paint to look like water flowing down. Or I saw a really cool idea. Someone had a a waterfall and they put like they molded like felt into like a waterfall thing and it looked realistic really realistic so the waterfall is still going to be in it and it's going to go right back behind the fence and i'm doing the volcano still there's going to be a fog machine behind that and some fire and ice lights on the inside so it's going to be a flat volcano just like the mummy's tomb the pharaoh's revenge facade for last year except you won't walk into the volcano like you did the mummy's tomb the pharaoh's revenge last year so I just keep on rambling, but I just want to tell you guys all the different things that's going to go on. So once I get this back wall up here, I will put that, and I'll begin to, begin to work on the volcano. Now, for props for this scene, actual animatronic props, I don't know what I'm going to do for that. So in the comments below, and don't worry, this video is almost over, in the comments below, please let me know what props that I have. Don't suggest ones that I don't have because I'm probably not going to be getting any more life-size animated props this year until the 50% off sale at Spirit. What life-size props that I have already that aren't going in any of the other scenes? Like, I know I haven't said what's going in what scene, but, like, it's kind of easy to tell what's going to go in what scene, except for Boogeyman. He's going to go in, uh... He's going in the, um, until death do us part, because his suit makes him look kind of like a preacher. So, what props that I have, life-size props, do you think can go in Island of the Headhunters? Remember, it's a headhunter island with Native American headhunters. Doesn't necessarily need to be a Native American prop, because they don't have those. Um, but, like... And, um, like, a prop, maybe just one that doesn't have a head, or, I don't know, anything that you think would work for that area, or just jungle-type props, like, maybe an animal, I don't know, any prop that I already have, life-size animated prop, I know I don't really think I have any life-size animated animal props, but just for an example, I was just putting that out there. So, just remember, it's a jungle, a tropical rainforest jungle. And also another thing, I'm probably going to get some fake parakeets. Put them up in that tree, which you can't see. There's a big tree back there. And there's one of the stems of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this was a lot of rambling. I have not sat in this chair yet, I don't think. Ooh, comfy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, keep howling at the moon, Wire Wolves. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.